Hello OMB Warehouse fans. Today we're going to properly install a flywheel onto this Predator 212 engine. Today we have our standard Predator 212 engine. Uh, this is the non-hemi version with the stamped steel valve cover. I've got the Arc Racing 6625 flywheel, which is a great deal. It'll help keep you safe if you've taken the governor off like I have here. You can see where I've plugged the holes. And this will give you the 32 degrees advance that you're looking for with uh, aftermarket cams and stuff like that. What I'm going to have you do, just take a little bit of valve grinding compound. I use Permatex brand because I buy it right down on the corner. I'm going to dab a little bit of valve grinding compound on the crank and then a little bit inside the back of the flywheel. Wipe your hands off with your wife's kitchen towel to make sure that uh, we don't get this pretty piece dirty. At that point, I'm simply going to slide the flywheel until I feel it seat and then I'm going to give it a few rotations like this. What that's doing is the valve grinding compound is helping those two parts mate together. So once I've done that a few times, I'm going to pull this back off. At this point, cleanliness is everything. You need to clean up all your parts really well. Keep any valve grinding compound away from this seal right there. That'll eat up that seal in no time flat. Once you have all of this cleaned, then you'll reinstall your stock timing key. And yes, I will go back and clean this better later. Put your flywheel on with your basket and the nut. This nut needs to be torqued to 54 foot-pounds. Not inch pounds, but foot-pounds. Once you have it all tightened up and back ready to roll, your engine will scream. It will love you for it and it'll be safe long term. The stock flywheels have been known to come apart. This is a safety item if you've removed your governor. Again, all these parts can be found at OMB Warehouse. Find us on the web at www.ombwarehouse.com or give us a call toll free 877-272-7941 and always come hang out with us at oldminibikes.com. Thank you.